Hey guys, good morning. I am on my third week of my summer shredding series. So we are doing a 100 day cut. This is now gonna be episode two of my new summer shredding vlog. And I've actually been getting a lot of questions about my like everyday like makeup and like gym routine makeup. So I actually thought for the first time ever I would start today's video off with that. Just kind of show you guys like my little getting ready process. I just picked out my little outfit for the day. Um, this is the new reverse bossy print by Buff Bunny Collection. This outfit is going to be releasing next Saturday, April 9th at 1 p.m. CST, code DES. So today's content, I'm gonna be getting um, all week long, I'm gonna be wearing the outfits from this upcoming launch. I have my box right over here. So there's like lots of fun pieces. You guys are gonna die when you see everything coming out in the, no in the new Most Wanted collection. So this new theme, it's called Most Wanted because it's literally all of like the customer requests, like most wanted requests, like bring back bossy print in this color, put bossy print on this piece, make leggings in this print. So that's what this whole collection is about. And I'm like really excited because it's just all the fan favorites and you guys are gonna love it. This is the reverse bossy print. You guys have seen it like with the black with the white dots. So now this is white with the black dots and it's just so cute. Okay, so I guess first things first, let's do our makeup. Um, I'm going to be starting out with the It Cosmetics CC Cream. I'm wearing the color medium tan because I always have fake tan on. Right now, I just have like a light fake tan um, foam on. I usually have a spray tan, but I need a reorder solution and I've been out of town and kind of running around, so I just haven't done it yet. So I've just been using my um, like mitt and tanning foam. And yeah, so I'm using this color, but I also have it in lots of other shades just in case. Like I have a lighter one, a darker one, and I just use a little bit. I really like this foundation for like the days that I'm gonna be going to the gym because it's like not as thick as a normal foundation and it just kind of goes on really light and when I put it on it's kind of like moisturizing like it kind of feels like I'm wearing a, a moisturizer with it and I always have to just I don't know I like my skin to feel moisturized like I hate that feeling of having any dry skin, dry face, like I wake up and I put moisturizer on and I redo my entire skin like when I wake up. If you guys wanna see a video on skincare stuff, definitely let me know because maybe we could do that one next time. I've been having to like redo my entire skincare routine lately because if you've been following along with me since just this year alone, in 2022, I was literally in the ER and the urgent care due to some hormonal and like cystic acne. So I've been having to like really revamp my entire skincare routine. So if you guys are interested in that and how I've been finally clearing it up after like six or seven months, then let me know. We're almost done. Okay, so I have the CC cream all over. As you can see, this foundation, it's like so buildable. It's a CC cream. So color correcting full coverage cream and anti-aging hydrating serum. So you can see it's really buildable so you can wear it as light or as heavy as you want. I tend to kind of dab mine on just for like a little extra coverage because as soon as I start going like this too much, I feel like it takes it off. But if I go like this, it gives me like the perfect amount of coverage and yeah, I just really like it. It feels really good. Okay, so next I like to do my eyebrows. Just give it a little bit of life. So I'm going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills brow brush. I think this is like the number 12, if I remember right. And I just brush my eyebrows upward. Um, I typically have like the laminated eyebrows right now, but I do need to redo them. Like, honestly, my brows are not even considered laminated right now, but I still do my makeup as if they are. So I basically brush it up and I just like fill it in. Like it's like that new soap brow, kind of like bushy brow look. I've been doing that since like July of last year and I like it, it's just different. So next I'm gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. This is the color Chocolate. Yes, I have blonde hair, but I use the dark color because my eyebrows and my root are a little bit darker and everyone always says that a darker brow is a more youthful look, so of course that's what we're going for. So we're just gonna go in and because I kinda do like the laminated brow look, I'm just gonna kinda go up and do like little upward strokes, just kinda filling it in, filling in what brows are already there. I'm just kind of filling in the gaps over here. Okay, so here's one brow. As you can see, I just kind of brushed up the hair and then did upward strokes to fill it in. After I do this, you'll see what else I put in just to add a little bit more depth. 
Okay, so now that I have the dip brow on, I'm gonna take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Chocolate Tinted Brow Gel. And I really like this because it's so easy. You just kind of brush it up on your brows as well and then it gives a nice fuller, um, it just fills in all the little gaps that you couldn't really do. And if you were to do it with the pomade, it would probably be too much. So this is just like the perfect way to like lighten up, especially the um, ends, to darken up the ends. Okay, so the brows are done. As you can see, they are big, they are bushy. This is the new like laminated soap brow look that I've been kind of doing. A lot of people have been asking me about it. I'll show you guys the process of like when I actually redo the lamination and the tint because it doesn't usually take me this much product. Like when I actually have my brows tinted and laminated, I don't have to do all this in the morning and then all I do is pretty much pop on foundation and lashes. But this is kind of how I maintain it and I like it. It's just different, a little bushy, a little bold. Some days when I like can't really get it to stay, I'll use this Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze and uh, you just dip your spoolie in here and it's just like a little clear gel and I just kind of have it stay up and this saves my life. This is how I make my laminated brows last way longer. So next I'm gonna go in with some mascara. I honestly use lots of different mascaras. Like I'm not really too picky when it comes to my mascara because I always wear false eyelashes. So I pretty much just wear it to tint my eyelashes to make it match my fake ones. But most of the mascara I'm using right now is, let's see, um, the MAC. This is really good, but it is a little thick. I love this mascara, but it's almost gone. It's the ColourPop. Uh, this is my go-to since high school, L'Oreal. Uh, it is, it's the best. Like, it is just the best. And then I also use this little pixie one. I recently got this out of the AIA Beauty Bundle, and I really like it. It has a very simple wand, but this is what I've been using. Um, and I use it on my top lashes and my bottom lashes. Okay, so I have my mascara on. Now, as this is kind of drying, I'm gonna start putting the glue onto my lashes. For my lashes, I am gonna use my Wake Up Like Des lashes. They are out of stock on the website, but I still wear my own lashes every single day. And I have been using these ones. These ones are on like, literally, I think they're like 15th wear. So I'm probably gonna wear them a couple more times this week and then it'll be time for a new one. And I promise I do plan on restocking the lash line. It's just gonna be happening in a couple months because I've had to take care of some other things until getting back to doing that. So um, I am gonna be wearing my own lashes. They're not available right now, but these are the style Left on Red. They are my all time favorite. They're um, a longer glam wispy with like gaps look. And that's why I love them because you get the length and you get the glam, but with the gaps in between the lashes, you get to still see all the eyeshadow that you put on your eyes and it doesn't like hide all of the makeup that you just did. So just peel off your old glue. If you didn't uh, have the energy to do it the night before, peel off your old glue and then reapply your new glue. And then as that's sitting, I'll start doing my bronzer. I know it seems like drama, but it's really not that drama. So I'm basically just taking off any of the old glue um, sometimes I take off my glue off of my lashes when I take them off and then sometimes I'm not very good about it And then I have to take it off right before I'm about to do my makeup But if you are just really good about taking off the old glue as you remove your lashes at night Then you won't have to do this before Putting them on and add it as part of your makeup routine. Okay, so here's my lash and here is my glue I love using the Ardell duo glue. I use this one that has the brush on it. It's not a tube It has this nice long skinny stick so I just glide it along here. You don't need very much at all. So once I apply the glue, I'm just gonna set it down. And this is the key trick for me. Um, when people tell me like, I don't know how you apply lashes every day. Like I can't get it to stay. It's too hard. This is the trick, okay? You put the glue on and then you'll just let it sit for like, I don't know, 30 seconds to a minute. And I always say, let it get tacky. This glue is gonna get tacky. Like it's not gonna dry, but it's not gonna be like freshly wet. And then once you just kind of like let it get a little tacky, it sticks to your eye so much better and you're not gonna spend five or 10 minutes trying to make this eyelash stick to your eye, getting glue everywhere, getting tears everywhere because you're now getting glue in your eye. I know it can be, it can be a mess, but this is what's gonna save your life. So my lashes have glue, I'm letting them sit. And as that's happening, I'm now gonna go take my foundation brush and my foundation and before I do like my contour, I'm just gonna make sure like I have all the coverage I want. Just gonna kind of run my brush over one more time. I usually put a little bit extra like around my chin cause I have like a lot of scarring from like acne and stuff. A little bit on this one spot. Okay. So this lash, see that color? It's almost clear. So I'm just gonna pop it right back on. 
Do you see how easy that was? I just stuck it on my eye. All I did was stick it right here on my eye and it's on. We are good to go. And then I just kind of hold it into place and make sure it's not going anywhere, but that's good. All right, next one. Oh yeah, that's looking pretty good too. See how it's not white and it's not blue. It's like kind of in the middle, it's tacky. All done. See, that was so easy. That's why you just put the glue on your lashes, let it sit. All I did was touch up a little bit of my foundation. If it wouldn't have been ready yet, then I would have started my contour, but I'm kind of keeping an eye on it. And then that was like perfect. They are on my eye, they are good to go. They feel good, they feel comfortable. There's no poking. So now I'm gonna put on my bronzer, my highlighter, finish it off with a lip, and we should be good to go. So before I go and start in with my contour, I'm actually gonna go and start with blush. This is what I've been doing a little bit differently lately and people have been noticing it, which is why I wanted to talk about this little routine because people are noticing my skin looking a little bit different in the way it glows and like shines and my contour um, and like my tan. So I'm gonna explain to you guys what I've been doing differently because I've been taking some notes from the Gen Z, the little Gen Zs and they've been putting blush on their nose and like way more on their cheeks so this is what i'm doing i do little apples just apples and then i also put it on my nose this is new for me i just started doing this like this year and people have been noticing it and they're like what are you doing differently you look refreshed you look younger and i was like well i'm definitely taking notes from the gen z because i mean hello i'm 28 i want to look like i'm 18. <laughs> see how it's just like a youthful look like so far all I've done so far is a little blush and I just feel like a little just a little angel baby so I'm going a little bit heavier on the apples and then from there I'm gonna use a little blush and instead of using my contour up here I'm gonna use blush here on the sides just to kind of bring in my cheeks all right, now it's time for some bronzer and I'm using, honestly, this is so old, but this is what I'm using right now. It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette and I always like this uh, very last shade down here. And I'm gonna keep the contour high and just on the outside up here. Okay, so I'm basically just like doing circular motions from my cheeks, nose, side of the forehead, top of the forehead, and then a little bit down here and then down here in this vertical line blending it all up maybe a little bit more blush just to really stand out okay so you see the blush and the contour now i'm going to go in with a little highlight now if i'm in a rush i won't do the whole unscrewing highlighter because this takes a little bit longer of course it's way easier to have a highlight that you just pop open, put your brush in, and do it. This is the Fenty highlighter, by the way. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, but I use this Morphe highlight brush. I love it so much. Is there a name? M510. So the M510. So I use this Fenty gold highlighter in Trophy Wife. And then I also love this Micah Beauty Cosmetics highlighter in the color Batty. So with the highlighter, I keep it right here in the lid and then I just kind of put my brush in it and I'm gonna do it right up here in the top. I love this highlighter because it is just so, look at how it blends. And then I just kind of do like a C shape, like I go up here near my eyebrow. And then I'm continuing to use what's in that lid and I'm gonna go down my nose and on my lip. A little bit here on the bridge, a little bit on the tip, and then down here. I like my lip to be super highlighted on the top because by the time I put my lip, I don't know, I just really like a nice highlighted upper lip. And then I'm just going to take the leftover and put it here on my forehead and a little bit here on my chin. Okay, so the last thing I would do right now is a lip, but I'm gonna add a little bit more mascara on my bottom lashes just to balance it out. So I'm gonna use the MAC um, mascara. This one is a really thick mascara. So I do like to use this one. Like you could really see how thick it is. I like to use this one for my bottom lashes, especially when I'm wearing a bold eyelash like this because it just helps balance it out. Okay, so a little bit more balance. And then last, we're gonna do a lip. My everyday lip colors are the NYX uh, Soft Spoken. So this is Soft Spoken and it's kind of like a mauve color. I love this as an everyday color. I've been wearing it for years and years and years. 
And then my other favorite is the Sandstorm color, and this one's a bit more of like a nude color. I probably wear this one a bit more now, but you could see it's slightly different. When it's on your lips, it just looks different. It's buildable. So before I add my lip, I am going to use a little bit of lip liner, and this is the NYX lip liner in the color Sand Beige. Okay, so I've got my little lip liner on. It looks a little crazy. And now I'm going to go in with my Sandstorm and just use a little bit, just a little bit, like I wipe it off. Okay, so I've got a little bit of lip on, nothing too crazy because I just want it to be like an everyday thing. Obviously, the more you put on, the heavier it's gonna look. And then I usually like to just top it off with a little bit of glass, uh, with a little bit of gloss. This is the Buxom Plumping Lip Gloss. I love this stuff. It literally makes it look like you got your lips done and it, you feel it. This is the color White Russian and it just pairs really nicely with every lip color I have. Okay, so I just got my gloss on. The makeup is done. This is the final look. Honestly, just foundation, bronzer, blush, highlight, brows, lashes, call it good. It feels really nice. I feel comfortable working out in this. I feel comfortable wearing it throughout the day. It's not too heavy. Um, and yeah, this is just kind of like my routine right now. I hope you guys liked it. All right, so now that the makeup's done, Maddie's gonna be here very soon. I'm gonna start whipping up together my supplements. I'll show you guys what I'm gonna be drinking today in my workout. Maddie will be here soon and then we're gonna get our workout on. your body. Yeah. We're feeling like I'm all alone. Oh, Good morning, you too. Good morning. <laughs> I brought a backpack full of subs. Oh, so I figured we would just go through it. I really want you to take your size. Do you have your size? Yes, or I pump? do. Um, yeah, I brought size. And then I also wanted to show you that um, I know that you talked about I wouldn't take pump at the same time as burn. So I want to show you that Ghost came out with a non stim burn. Should I be combining oh. this with my Natty pump? Maybe that way I'm like, getting a sweat and or size. I mean, not with pump. <laughs> they get because I brought they have size. so many things I know. To mix together. So I was thinking I would take the pre workout for my energy boost and then mm -hmm. obviously sip on the size during my workout. But I was thinking I could mix it with burn. That way I do get like a little extra. But is that just doing too much? And this is a non stim burn. Yeah, it okay. is. Okay. And then I also yeah. brought the other one. Um, it's mango, but yeah, these are yeah, just the I, new ones that they just came out. With. I haven't tried them yet. I gotta double check the ingredients because one thing. Oh, that's the. This is the non. This is non stim. Uh, one thing that is like this is a good thing with Ghost that they have so many different like variety of products, but it can also be scary, especially if you don't know which ones to combine together. Exactly. That's why <laughs> I want to talk about what I'm stacking, which supplements I'm stacking. I will always run it by my coach first. I yeah. Do. Yeah, so um, we've got burn, we've got your pre-workout, and we've got size. Do you, yeah. have, do you have it with you? Yep. The size? All right, let me see that. I'm just gonna make sure, double check all the ingredients, because they give all these like a fancy name. Right. Um, so yeah, this, the size is the one with your creatine, beta alanine, and a couple other things that are just chill. Um, the burn does have the L-carnitine. It has a couple of the same ingredients, but what I'm looking for is it doesn't have another serving of beta alanine, okay. which is good, um, or creatine or anything else. <laughs> yeah, um, because you don't, wanna, yeah, you don't wanna overlap too much. And let me double check the pre-workout versus the size again, because size does not have caffeine. Um, I don't think so, I don't see it on here. I don't see it on here. I don't see it on here, so you're, you're good there. Um, the pre-workout still does have beta alanine, so um, that's fine, but that's good to make sure you're not getting three servings of beta right. alanine. And luckily, they do have the reduced tingle beta alanine in the size, which means you can take two servings of it and you won't feel like you're getting stung by bees. Perfect. Which is ironic for today. <laughs> um, and then everything Apparently else. Apparently our gym almost closed down today due to bees that were in here. There was like a full on just beehive or something. So earlier yeah. this gym was closed. Good and bad thing about having these garage doors that open with that like inside outside feel of the yeah. gym. I guess you're gonna have bees sometimes. <laughs> But I think that's pretty much it, and that's good. Everything has this astrogen complex in it, which I don't even know what that is. <laughs> We're gonna have to do some research on it, like what the purpose of it is. But every single product that Ghost has, has that in it. So I'm curious to do a little bit more research on what that is. But for today, you should be good. All right, cool. So I would mix these two together, cool. and I would sip on the burn. Throughout the workout. Throughout the workout, and as we get closer to cardio too. Cool. All right. 
So the purpose of today's workout is for Des to get a really fire back workout. And we're gonna talk through the reasons why we're hitting back in this specific way. You'll see that we do a lot of lat movements and not too much middle back or lower back movements. And we'll kind of explain all that as we go through. I'm going to be pretty much just training Des, taking her through this workout, and I might get a little bit of a workout in too because I can't resist. <laughs> Um, and then after that, you're gonna hit 25 minutes of cardio and be good for the day. And this is your last back workout of the week, so we're gonna really give it our all. All right, I'm ready, you guys. Look at all this. this Look at all this, I'm ready. I'm ready to get a good workout in. And I'm really excited for you guys to be able to see this workout um, and like hear why, like the meaning behind the way we're training, like how she was saying like the very specific back workouts. This is exactly what I want you guys to see, the way we've been training in the last year now. When I was on prep for my last show this time last year, my training changed a lot and my body has changed a lot and I'm so excited for you guys to see that because it is literally through macros and exercise, okay? So stay tuned. Cue the sick edit. Get those rotator cuff formed up because even though it's back day, you're still doing a lot at your shoulder joint. So you wanna make sure that your little muscles in there are nice and warm and not gonna be in any weird places. Give me a couple external rotations like this. Yeah. Oh man, that feels good. Good. Do so you hear that crack? Both arms, yeah, I heard that crack. <laughs> Give me a little side stretch, stretch out your lat. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow, so much cracking. <laughs> it's giving geriatric. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Oh. Okay, come on over here for your first exercise. This is gonna be, we're gonna go really light on this first one. We're gonna do a pre-exhaust. So your first open. two sets are still gonna be pretty much part of your warm up. okay? Okay. So we're going really light, and you're gonna hit like 30 reps. Straight arm, lap, push down. Sorry, the hair's gotta go up for this one. Oh, you're good. <laughs> This has been like my little like go-to gym do, in case you haven't noticed. I have like these clips in every color. It's just so comfy. Boom. All right, let's do it. Yep, good. Feeling it in your lats. Perfect. Yeah, you're getting really in tune with your form in your back lately. <laughs> That's what I'm really been working on. you at all. Yeah, yeah, it looks fire. Like just really thinking about the tension. Mm -hmm. Because I noticed like a lot, I'm always like this. Yeah, yeah. Very just one, yeah. two, three, but like this, it's more like control and it, it tuckers out my muscles like a lot faster. Yeah, good. It's because you're, con you're controlling it on the release too, which is, that is where so much growth happens that a lot of people miss out on, okay. is the tension in the release of every movement. That's like half the movement that you're missing out on growth if you're not even thinking about it. Wow. So keep going to 30. And as you get closer to 30, I want you to increase your pace a bit. So get going a little faster. Still get that full range of motion, even when you're speeding up. Keep going. Good. You feel it right here? Mm-hmm. Pumping up. Good. I'm not counting, so I hope you are. <laughs> Good. All right, drop it. Okay, you're gonna go straight into this close row with the band, okay? Elbows in, thumbs up, let thumbs come together, thumbs up at the top. Okay, so going straight into it. Going higher ups again, this is another warm up. Bands are great for warming up your middle back and getting like those little muscles to engage and start feeling ready to warm up to then start lifting heavy, especially when you're trying to target your middle back, which yeah. we're not doing too much of today, but we do wanna make sure we're not fully neglecting it. Balance I feel like is this key. is like really important for me because I mm -hmm. notice even when I'm doing things like a deadlift, especially if it's like a barbell or a dumbbell deadlift. I notice my shoulders are heavy like this, mm -hmm. and I need that more strength to maintain my shoulders back. Yes. And hold my form. Yep. That's what this is gonna do. Especially when you're thinking about this movement, releasing that scapula and squeezing that scapula back, because that's not something that you do often, is squeezing that scapula together. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what, that is also working your rear delts right here, which is bringing in the back of your shoulder cap, which is what we want for your stage aesthetic, <laughs> um, but also just like life aesthetic. 
Good. Life is like, absolutely. Good. Keep, when you're getting tired, keep squeezing it all the way back together. Thinking about pinching a pencil between your scapula right here. Good. 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 My finger's about the width of a pencil and you're pinching it. <laughs> oh. Good. 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 She's Honestly. already sweating. I can feel it. Uh, yeah. All it's right. time to lose this jacket. It's the new bossy print, reverse bossy print. It's so That's freaking so cute. cute. I don't know why I love it so much. It matches your bag. That's freaking why I love it so much. Wait, you need this. You need this. You need the whole set. Is that too much though? It's oh, never no. too much. It's no, never it's too never much black too much. and white spots. If you have to ask if it's too much, it means it is, and that's absolutely okay. That's what, that's the energy. That's the energy that's that we're giving this 20. year. You're sharing for 15, okay? All right. Nice and controlled. Good. Around the world, around the world. <laughs> okay, keep it going. Good, it's normal for you to feel a little bit in your triceps here, because um, your tricep literally does extension. That's part of what it does. Um, but you want to be thinking mostly in your lats. And that's why we don't bend or move at the elbow joint at all because that'd be even more triceps. So you're doing good. And I want you to try to think about when you're at the bottom, squeezing or trying to feel your lower lat right here in your back. Mm-hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. Do you feel that? Yeah. Lower lat. Yeah. Oh, I can feel your lower lat working now. Yeah. That's just getting that movement just a little bit deeper. Yeah. Good. Good. All right. We're going to go straight into, rest your back a little bit. We're going to go straight into some tricep kickbacks because we do need a little bit more tricep volume this week. So you're just gonna lean forward, elbows in, elbows don't move, kicking back. I like to think about like having my thumb right here on yeah. it and my thumb pressing back like I'm like pressing a button, okay? Cool. And we're going really light on these because I want to initially get a tricep pump, get that right. burn going really good and then we'll do a couple exercises that you can go a little bit heavier on. Cool. Lean forward, good. Elbows in, kicking it back. Yeah, good, good. Keep that back straight and keep that head up. You don't have to bend too far forward. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Yep. Bend forward is literally just adding like gravity <laughs> pretty much to this movement to make it even harder. And tell them Good. we got to do lots of tricep because that's where my loose skin's at. Yeah, barely. <laughs> Not anymore. We don't know her. Right? We're forgetting all about her. Three. Two, one, good. Woo. Oh. Good. All right, straight into the lats. <laughs> we had one Take a sip. You got 20 seconds max. <laughs> this is gonna this is gonna burn a little bit more now with the triceps already warmed up. Good. Don't be afraid to breathe. I want to hear you breathing especially breathing out on the way down, because breathing out on the way down is going to get that lower lat engagement like we talked about. Middle lower, yeah. That's everything right there. As you get tired, keep that tension on the way up. Don't get lazy on me. What you at, were you counting? No. Good, okay, give me five more. Five, four, three, good, breathe. Two, one more middle back. One, yeah, oh. nice. nice, good. She's like, I don't like when Maddie's not working out with me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we don't get as long rest times when you're not super set. <laughs> right. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Crushed it. Good job. Good, good, good. I don't like how sloppy that felt. You should. <laughs> That's the kind of sense where you actually grow. I don't like when I can't see myself. I felt like I'm like going out. Yeah, that's your, um, that stems from like long-term fear in the gym, you know yeah. what I mean? But like, I feel like I was rounded back going like this. I mean, you started, I you started to round a little bit, but there's nothing wrong with that when you're targeting your triceps, you know? Okay. That's why I would cue you to look up a little bit eventually because if you curl too much, 
you sh you're, sh you're curling because your ch body is trying to shorten the yeah. amount of movement it has to go and make it easier. Anything right. to make it easier is what your body's trying to like compensate and do, but you're still hitting your triceps, which is the most important thing. And if you're actually working hard enough that your body's trying to compensate, I mean, that's good. <laughs> that's really My body's good. trying to do something new. <laughs> yeah. She's not gonna have it today. We will not have it today. I've been thinking, I, I was thinking to myself earlier in my workout, I was like, you know what? I should go a week without looking at myself in the mirror at all, at any point in the gym. Not looking at myself taking a selfie at the end, not looking at myself doing my dumbbells and just see like, like number one, how I see myself change in a week, like I'm yeah. not looking at myself, yeah. but then also just like, I don't know, see how much harder I work. I yeah. really did that, that purpose. <laughs> when I first started losing weight. Yeah. Like when I first started my journey, like, I like did it, it sounds crazy, but I like didn't look at myself in the mirror for like four months. That's really? Crazy. Like I avoided all reflections. And yeah. then like, I looked at myself like with like my shirt off and I was like, oh my God, like it's a huge thing. <laughs> uh, oh, who is he? That gives me chills. That's really cool. Yeah. Love you, babe. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna go a little bit lighter. Um, because we're gonna do a side specific one. So your mm. feet are gonna be a little bit more towards the side and you're just gonna be bringing it down again. Like you'll mostly feel on one side, your other side is still gonna be working a little bit, but you're mostly gonna feel on that one side and I want you really taking advantage of this angle to try to feel that lat all the way into your spine. Okay. And you're really just like, you can do it straight, facing straight forward and just kind of twisting like that. But I want you to get the feeling down of this straight to the side. So you're gonna hit 10 on each side. You're gonna twist your feet to the other corner, 10 on each side. Okay, and your body's not really moving, it's just your arms. Just your arms, it's the same movement, elbows straight. And I want you to practice actually. Here, let me take this off real quick. Okay, bomb. Okay. My check, check, check. My check, one, two. Okay, so I forgot what I was saying. Oh yeah, instead of on this one, so we got our elbows pretty straight. Your elbows are still gonna be locked, but I want them a little bit more bent, like pretty much right here, so that the side angle feels a little bit more natural. Yeah. Um, but they're still, they're not releasing and then bending, because if you get that going, you're gonna lose your lap. So keep them bent. Oh yeah. Just keep them right there. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so just 10 on each side. Let's see it. Something that I want you is to really think about letting it stretch you at the top and stretching and arching your upper back even. Yeah. Half an inch goes a long way for you because you do have that tendency to stay crouched over. That's your body's comfort zone. So think about your upper middle back too. That's why doing lat exercises like this is gonna be really good for you, not only for your posture, but for your growth and just comfort and balance in your body because you're gonna hit this middle lat instead of just out here. There's like, your lat is super, super long. So the more we can target all of it, the more balanced you're gonna be. I switch sides. Okay. The reason we're doing so much lat movement is so that we can build her X frame. We're just trying to build up her shape as much as possible right now. Uh, and our goal, especially for her competition physique, is to add a lot more size to her upper body, a lot more width to accentuate her little waist. So the more lats you have, the wider your upper body will be. We don't particularly care about developing depth and a ton of size in like her middle back and all that, or traps. Uh, so we really focus a lot of our back movements on the lats. And I've already in the past like six months noticed a big difference in her upper body to waist ratio. It's been pretty crazy. And a lot of people have been commenting on that to me. Keep like Des, like your waist is getting smaller. Like are you growing on your booty? And like honestly, it's because We've been working on growing my back and my booty. So yeah. it's giving the illusion that my waist is a lot smaller. Yep. People don't really think about your back <laughs> when you think smaller waist. Yeah. Two more. And it's crazy because it's like that shape, it's built. I, yeah. I made okay. that shape. I didn't get that shape after my tummy tuck, after my boob job. That shape has come after doing two different shows, competition prep, and that really consistent, specific training. It's given me an entirely new physique. It's mm -hmm. insane, insane. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna be standing and you're gonna use this arm to force your upper back to stay upright, to not start rounding when you get tired, okay? So you're gonna force your chest tall 
elbow in and kicking it back again. So we're gonna try this one arm and see how it feels. And you're really only at like a 45 degree angle. You're not too far bent over. So wherever this arm can be straight and locked to okay. literally force your upper body upright. Got it. Yeah. Cool. I did these so much in the beginning of my journey. Yeah. I would always do these. <laughs> and sometimes with like plates, like the big round ones. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. They're but really people good ask here. a lot like, what are the ones you've been doing? From the beginning. This one I've definitely been doing from the very beginning. Don't forget to press with that arm, arch that upper back. Yeah, good, press it into the bench. Show off those nails, girl. <laughs> They're so old. <laughs> Look at these nails. <laughs> They're so grown out, you guys. If you see any holes in the bench, you know who was here. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta leave my mark. Okay, keep it going. We are going to move into a, we're using this rope a lot. <laughs> You're gonna be sick of this by then. I love the cables though. Like I yeah. could do cable machine. Like give me a workout all on cables, I would be so happy. <laughs> so today we're gonna incorporate, um, this is technically a rear delt movement, but it's also gonna work your upper middle back just a little bit, which is why we're doing it on back day. Cool. So um, I can have you come over here and sit on this mat so you don't have to sit on the dirty ground. Make sure you don't sit on a B. <laughs> you stay over there, Kyle. Um, and you're doing a face pull, but we're just gonna do a variation where you're sitting. And I do want you to try to press against this pole with your foot Got it. so that you're not like lose, using too much like momentum. You can really like keep yourself stabilized cool. while sitting down. And you're just thinking elbows out, leading with your elbows. Instead of like pulling with your wrists like this, you're pulling with your elbows. Do you see how that kind of leaves my hands forward mm -hmm. instead of back here, they're mm -hmm. forward. So everything is thinking about your scapula releasing, scapula coming together. What's crazy to me is how much her rear delts have developed. And I mean, there's so much more potential for rear delt growth, but I already see how big her rear delts are going to be. Uh, Cause she's got really nice long insertions and she's really good at activating that rear delt. So the more we do them, the more growth she's gonna see. And that is going to help so much, especially with looser skin on the back of your arms. That is going to pull so much size over here. You're not even gonna be able to like pinch your skin a couple months from now, it's just gonna be so tight. Goal. Good, keep going. When you start getting a pump, like I literally, I mean, you, I always say this to you, and whenever we meet new people in the gym, they're like, what, you lost 300 pounds? You would never look like you lost 300 pounds. I was like, yeah, no, are you worth 300 pounds? Whatever. Lost 300 pounds. <laughs> um, but even, but especially when you get a pump, you are so tight and firm. It's like, when I I wish have a pump, I can feel my arms like, like already right now, my arms feel like night and day difference from before we started this workout. Like, mm -hmm. I think it's because of the size and the they, pre-workout. They get you know, like, like life in them. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it just makes my muscles pop. That's the perfect time to take your pictures. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Actually, one thing that I've noticed with working with a lot of WLS women, yeah. and in you specifically too, is like, a lot of times when you're in such an extreme deficit for so long, you just look deflated and you get yes. this like, this like, uh, what do you call it? Like lack of energy or lifeless look to you. Exactly, mm -hmm. it looks, and I know it sounds dramatic, but it looks lifeless. It looks yeah. deathly. Yeah. I, I think about my one year post-op pictures when I was like, I lost my first goal weight 150 pounds down. I'm so stoked to be at 148 pounds. I never thought I would see that day, but I look at those pictures and like I was pale. You could like see like the opacity in my skin even I'm and like healthy. no muscles. Mm -hmm. It was just like this little skinny, like I had no definition. I was just thin, little thin and I, I didn't mm -hmm. feel very good. It wasn't until, that, so that was December 2018, January 2019 is when I signed up with Maddie for the first time. We were coaching virtually for like six months and that's when I started training um, with her, doing macros and everything changed guys. Like it's insane. Insane. Yeah. So if you're in that point right that, now where you're like, yeah, I had my WLS, I'm at my lightweight, I feel good, never thought I'd be here, but you still feel like there's something missing and you could be healthier and strive mm -hmm. for more. That's mm -hmm. where I was at. And that's exactly why I want to do this, this series because I know there are so many of you guys that are on the same journey as me, but maybe you don't want to step on stage. Maybe you're just way too busy or maybe like you're a mom and you're like, yeah, maybe 20 years ago that could have been me. But now this is your opportunity to now see what it's like to 
kind of go on a competition prep and a shred with us, kind of see how we do it. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's something you could do in the future, but maybe you just want to impl um, maybe you just want to implement this into your own journey, a little shredding for a hundred day shred, a few months. Exactly. And it would be like, amazing. You would be surprised at how much you can change your body. Insane. That's what like I try to tell people all the time. Like bodybuilders got it right. Yeah. Like the reason that they have the look, or even used in like I don't know fitness catalogs and magazines and stuff like. They, everyone who has that like the fit look is like bodybuilding, it's like yeah. that bodybuilding look. And you don't have to go to the extremes that bodybuilders go, the extreme of stepping on stage. I mean, that is pretty crazy, but there's a lot of things that you can learn from bodybuilding style training yes. that will get you what women actually want, which is yeah. that tight, lean, full of life, athletic look. Yes. And the nutrition and the training with um, bodybuilding protocols yeah. is powerful. It's yes. something that women should definitely not be afraid of. Mm -hmm. And you've been a perfect example of that. Like, <laughs> you know, yes. the last little note, I know I'm like totally like cutting in our workout, but the last little note I will say is that it's insane too. like just touching on what she just said, because I've gone through two different competition preps, I've got an idea with macros. I know what workouts to be doing. I know how to train. And when I was on my off season from bodybuilding, I wasn't tracking for like what, seven, eight months. And that was totally fine because I've done the time of, now I know like it's not gonna set me back that much because I was just kind of, you know, intuitively eating. Like I know relatively like what portions and what, you know, macros I should be following. And because I already have all that prior knowledge, it set me up and I've been able to maintain my low weight from my stage weight. I'm only one pound That's heavier than my, than my show day. Did oh, you yeah, know that? And you still look completely different than and show I day. I look so different from my show day. Your composition but I've been just maintaining it. to change. Yeah. yeah. It's just like a lot to learn, you guys. And like, <laughs> I'm like, that's what I'm telling you is I'm constantly learning every single day. Like when I tell you I'm on a new chapter of my journey, that's exactly how it feels because I'm always looking for new ways to grow and improve my physique, my body, everything. And um, yeah, it's just insane. Like I'm learning and she's just like right here along with it. And it's so much fun to like see the changes and to be able to like show you guys the changes and like give you guys the hope that you guys could totally do this too. Like it's not just me. I'm not, I don't have these crazy genetics. Like I was the person in my family that had the one, the one bad gene. Like that was me. And now I'm over here with probably more muscle than most people in my family, <laughs> which is just insane. So anyways, have hope you guys. Welcome to the shredding series. There's a lot to learn, a lot to, uh, just a, like we have a lot of growing to do, a lot of growing to do. A lot of growing to do, and it's never ending. That's another thing that yeah. you like learn from bodybuilding is it's never ending. You can always grow, you will always change, and you can love your physique right now. You can love your physique from last year, but mm -hmm. your physique will always continue to be different. And as long as you're, you know, always just implementing these different things that you, like you said, you're learning, then you're always going to be changing and progressing in a positive way and being able to control like what way you change and like how you change. Yeah, it's really enlightening. Mindset. Yeah. Yeah. Be open to learning not oh gosh well now I have loose skin on my arms after doing two shows oh my gosh now I have even more loose skin oh my gosh this training's never gonna get easy oh my gosh why am I training if I'm never gonna maintain this physique if I had that mindset I would not be stuck. I would not I would be stuck it wouldn't be I have to go about all of this all right so yeah I got a tummy tuck and now I've got way more loose skin from doing two shows and that's fine I'm going into my training like oh heck yeah I've got loose skin guess what I'm gonna do about that loose skin we're gonna fill it with muscle it's all about mindset mm -hmm. and that's why I'm so motivated and positive right here in the gym getting ready mm -hmm. to hit all my goals okay good job crushed it that's it for our lifting section um, I'm gonna now have her hit 25 minutes on the treadmill um, she's finishing off her burn uh, it typically takes like the whole workout for her to finish <laughs> her drink uh, so that she can actually, you know, get that in her system before her cardio. Um, and we try to like make sure that she's actually drinking that during her rest period so that she can get it in soon enough. I'm a slower sipper since having weight loss surgery. I don't really, I can't really chug a lot or else I'll just get like a really full filling and it feels like it doesn't go past here. So I have to just kind of take a little slower unless I'm dry mm -hmm. scooping, but I don't dry scoop every day, only sometimes. Today yeah. just wasn't that day. <laughs> yeah, so, but it's good. Um, ideally we'd like her to finish it like 15 minutes or so before she hits her cardio, just so that she, when she starts, she can go hard and she doesn't feel like just, just like so much water like shaking in your stomach, uh, which is probably what will happen. So um, that's pretty much it, you guys for this workout. She absolutely crushed it. And if you see her getting ready to fly away with those lats, then you know why she's in here working really hard. Really proud of her. Um, and we will just 
keep going like this. Yeah. Next workout, I'm gonna get this workout in with you because I was a little jealous watching you hit Honestly, this workout. Honestly, yeah, it doesn't feel the same without you working out next to me. Yeah, next time we'll be in the gym gym maybe, but this is I a really good vibe. I wanted her to be able to explain, um, so that's why she worked out separately today, but yeah. yeah. So if you guys like this, if you liked hearing you know, the reasoning behind my training, let us know. Yeah. And we can set up more workout days like this. Yeah, um, for sure. But the next one, you'll probably see us working out together and we'll probably be hitting a different different day so yeah get the best of all worlds yes because it is really nice like i love watching like people explaining why they're doing yeah. what they're doing understanding it yep. showing like the detail of it i so. can't feel comfortable in the gym and i can't feel comfortable especially being in like in a public gym like doing you know things like any workout unless i know my form is okay or like unless i feel comfortable doing it so when I was first learning, like I needed all that extra explanation. And that's why I want to give you guys as much explanation as I would have wanted. And I wish that I had in the very beginning, mm -hmm. instead of spending all those hours and just like anxious moments with like, you know, gym, gym anxiety in my car waiting. And then just like hiding in the corner, hiding in the corner in the gym. At, in yeah. the gym. It's a lot to learn yeah. and a lot, a lot of rooms to grow in. Okay. And so yeah. I just want to help bring you guys along that journey and grow out of that gym anxiety, get comfortable and confident in the gym and teach you guys as much as I can, as much as I've learned, because I feel like I'm continuing to learn. There's so much to learn and you guys, you're going to love it. You guys are going to love it. We're all going to just be growing this summer. We're going to have brand new bodies. It's going to be amazing. Okay. So this is just about done. I'm going to get my AirPods on, get the next you know, I usually like to put on like a little YouTube video or listen to a podcast. I try to like edit or, you know, type up a caption while I'm on the treadmill, but I can't do stuff like while I'm like moving and stuff. So I like to watch something and just stay busy. Um, so I'm going to get that going and then get my cardio done. Probably finish up today's steps because, you know, I'm doing 10,000 steps a day and I have not, I'm really behind on my steps. So I'm going to have to go for a walk with you later. We're both going to go on a walk today. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he shakes the camera. <laughs> so we're going to go on a walk later after we finish these steps. And that's pretty much the training day. You saw the supplements. You saw the workout. You saw the reasoning behind the workout. And this is just week three of being on this 100-day shred. So I'm going to go get to my cardio. And then I will see you guys in the next episode.